Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Manmohit. In today's video, I am going to show you how can you fade in and fade out an audio in Wondershare Filmora. It could be your background music that you want to fade in. Also, I would be touching a bit of bass on keyframing audio in Wondershare Filmora. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive straight into the video. Now that's the interface of Wondershare Filmora right in front of you. Now in order to fade in and fade out the audio, first of all, we need to obviously have some videos and an audio clip as well that we need to fade in and fade out. Now, for example, that's the audio that I want to fade in. Now, if you just play it out normally, the way it is right now, it would sound something like this. So if you see, it just instantly starts playing out the audio. But if I want to have, if I want to fade in or if I want to have a bit of time so that the audio starts lower volume and then automatically it goes higher volume. So what we need to do is on the very beginning of the audio, you will see this white color at the top left corner. The moment you hover over your mouse on that, you will see that your mouse cursor will change into these two arrows left and right. Hold that thing and then keep on dragging it on to the right hand side. You will see that it will keep on shadowing that complete audio. So right now you could completely see the divider of these two audios. So wherever you want or how long you want to fade in the audio, it all depends on you. For example, let's say I want to fade in my audio for first couple of seconds like this. Once you're happy with the results, leave it. And after that, let's see how the audio sounds like now. So as you could see, the volume of the audio started very low and it automatically just attained its highest volume possible. So that's the meaning of fade in. Now fade out is extremely, you can say simple and it's very similar to fade in. That means you want to have the audio not just completing at the same volume, you want the audio to just start to shimmer down a bit when it's almost about to complete the video. So what we need to do for that is now again, as you want to fade out your audio now, as you could see this white thing, hold that and then just keep and dragging it on to the left hand side like this. Once you're happy with the results, basically what happens is from this point onwards, when the audio starts to play, it will start to lower down its volume gradually. And by the time it finishes, it will just be quiet. Let's see how the audio sounds like now. So this is how fade in and fade out works. Extremely powerful thing, especially in Wondershare Filmora and it, it if you are actually doing some plant videos or some environment related videos, or it could be any channel that you are running, but this can really help you, especially in the background music kind of instances. Now, another thing is keyframing. Now, in order to apply keyframing, what we need to do is double click on that audio clip and you will see that menu coming up. Just scroll down a bit and here, just between K and this icon, you will see this keyframing icon, add volume keyframes. Now, first of all, drag your mouse, drag this particular red line where you want to start the keyframing and then click on this keyframing option. You will see that white color dot appearing at that particular point. And wherever you want to end the keyframing on, you can simply just drag your mouse over there and then again, click on the keyframing icon. Now, what that usually does is if you pay attention to the to this particular audio bar, right? So once you have these two keyframes, let's just put another one here. So just hover your mouse over there and then click on keyframing again. Now, what that usually does is you can just hold that keyframing thing. And if you look at this audio bar carefully now, it won't reduce the volume of the complete audio. It just reduces where you hold that keyframe. So if you hold the middle one, you will see that it will only reduce the volume for that particular part, not the complete video. Now let's see how the audio sounds like. So I'll play it from this part and just hear it now how it sounds like. So this is also known as audio ducking. That means now this can be extremely powerful and helpful to you, especially if you are going to have some intro music or some different clip and then you're going to speak something. Now for the moment that you're going to speak something, this is when you can apply the keyframing. What that will do is you can audio duck when you're going to speak. What will happen is when you will be speaking, the background music will go lower so that 
people are able to hear you properly and once you finish speaking again you can just kind of increase the volume of the rest of the clip rest of the audio so that it again just blends very smoothly so thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video and also you got something new out of it and you learned something new and you learned and you got what you were looking for do check out my other videos as well on this channel regarding this wonderful filmora and many other softwares that i play around with and do consider subscribing so that whenever the new videos are up which are every week you would be getting notified straight away with that i'm done with this video you guys have a great day stay safe and i will see you guys in the next video